हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज सम ऑफ डिस्टेंसेज इन ट्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन अनडायरेक्टेड कनेक्टेड ट्री विद एन नोड्स इन इट लेबल्ड फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस वन एंड देर एन माइनस वन एजेस इन इट वी नीड टू टेल द काउंट ऑफ डिस्टेंसेज ऑफ ईच आई एथ इंडेक्स विद ऑल अदर एलिमेंट्स इन दैट ट्री so i'll be explaining the question as well as the solution by the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with the ppt sum of distances in a tree lead code 834 this is a hard question on lead code and i also feel the same let's try and understand the question by the same example that was specified so we have an edge starting from the 0th index up till the 1 index we have another edge starting from 0th index up till the 2nd index we have an edge starting from 2nd index up till 3 from 2nd to 4th index from 2nd to 5th index and there are in total 6 nodes or indexes in my tree so let's try and calculate the distance of each index with all other indexes let's talk about the 0th node first so what is the distance from 1 the distance is 1 The distance from two is also one. The distance from zero to three is two. The distance of zero to four is two. The distance of zero to five is again two. This adds up to in total two eight. Let me just erase it and write eight here. The distance of uh, two uh, uh, with respect to all other nodes. Let's try and calculate that. Uh, the distance of two and zero is one. The distance of two and one is Two. The distance of two and three is one. The distance of two and four is one. The distance of two and five is one. So this adds up to total of six. Let's continue the process. Let's calculate the distance of one node from rest of the nodes. The distance of zero and one is one. The distance of one and two is two. The distance of one and three is three. One, two, and three is three. The distance of one and four is one, two, and three again three. The distance of one and five is again three. So this adds up to total of twelve. So we'll write twelve here. Let's try and solve it for the rest of the elements. Here we have three. So the distance of three from one is three. The distance of three from a uh, zero is two. The distance of three from two is One. The distance of three and four is two. The distance of three and five is two. This adds up to total of ten. And let's do the same thing for four and five. Since a uh, three, four, and five are exactly at the same similar position, the distances will be the same. So writing ten here and ten here as well. You can calculate it by yourself. Let me just draw a boundary here uh, because. these are the elements sum that i have calculated and this is what we need to return in an array format as the answer the distances of each node from all other nodes let's talk about the solution now we need to do some kind of pre processing on this input tree uh, to build our algorithm and uh, the first step of this pre processing is to identify the number of nodes that fall under a particular node including that node uh, so For zero, how many nodes fall under zero? One, two, three, four, five. And for the current node, uh, we will add another one. That means in total, this subtree has six nodes. Uh, this subtree has only one node. This subtree has one, two, three, and four nodes. This subtree has one node. This subtree has one node. This subtree has one node. And let me just change the color of the pen since we are done with the pre-processing and identification of how many nodes fall under each subtree. And next, we are gonna calculate the distance of each node uh, from uh, the current node uh, within that subtree. So, what is the distance of zero from all the nodes within this particular subtree? So, the distance of zero and one is one. The distance of zero and two uh, is one again. So one plus one that makes up till two. And the distance of zero and three is two. The distance of zero and four is two. The distance of zero and five is two. So we'll add another uh, 
2 3 times that makes it 6 and the distance becomes 8 so what i am basically doing i am calculating the depth here depth of each node from the parent sub parent root node so the depth of uh, 0 from 1 is 1 the depth of 0 from 2 is another, again 1 the depth of 0 from 3 is 2 the depth of 0 from 4 is 2 the depth of 0 from 5 is again 2 and uh, let's it, let's do it for the rest of the nodes as well so how many nodes fall under uh, 1 uh, there is no node so we will have 0 here how many nodes fall under 2 there are 3 nodes so we will have the distance of all its children from 2 to be uh, 3 because there are 3 nodes and which are in direct contact with 2 the distance of 3 from all its sub nodes is 0 0 and 0 I have done some cleanup here so that you get a good hold of the concept now we'll be moving in a pre-order fashion uh, so uh, whatever you are seeing in magenta signifies the distance of all its children node from the current node and whatever you are seeing in green signifies the count of all the nodes uh, within this subtree uh, so let's start the iteration and let me just change the color of pen to red uh, here at 0 we already know that the distance of all the nodes from uh, 0 is 8 so 8 is the answer let's talk about its children here we have 1 and you can we can use the information that we have calculated at its parent to actually come at the solution uh, for 1 uh, how can we do that so if you carefully observe then what is happening in the system uh, when the reference is getting changed then few nodes are coming closer and few nodes are uh, getting away uh, when we replace uh, 0 node with 1 node into consideration and what is the count of those nodes that are com coming closer and what is the count of those nodes that are going farther that count will be given by the number of nodes held at this particular node so how many nodes are held at this particular node it's one and how many nodes will actually go farther if we take the change the reference point from 0 to 1 uh, the number of nodes that will go farther would be 1 2 3 4 and 5 whatever the total number of nodes we have the total length of the nodes that we have versus the current node that this tree holds that would be 6 minus 1 so let's write it up uh, what is the uh, value calculated at the parent the value calculated at parent is 8 and how many nodes are getting closer when we replace the reference point one no node is getting closer so we subtract 1 and how much we, are, we should add how many nodes are getting farther that need, means we need to increase the distance and take those many nodes into consideration the total number of nodes that we have is 6 so 6 minus the nodes that are held at this particular node minus 1 so this gives us 7 plus 5 the answer becomes 12 so let's continue the process for this particular node when we are changing the reference point from 0 uh, to 2 how many nodes are getting closer or uh, since the reference point is getting changed uh, the distance is getting reduced for how many nodes will it reduce for four nodes it, it's going to reduce and how many nodes in this tree are getting farther it's zero and one uh, and the, so their count is two uh, how can we get their count the total number of nodes that we have is six and the nodes that are held at two which is four uh, so six minus four gives us two so these many nodes are getting farther off and these many nodes are getting closer so let's use the same formula what is the distance calculated at its parent the distance calculated is 8 how many nodes are getting closer 4 nodes are getting closer so that means we need to reduce its distance and how many nodes are getting farther 2 nodes are getting farther that means 
uh, 8 minus 4 plus 2 gives us 6. So this becomes 6. Let's continue the process for the rest of the nodes. We have uh, 3 here and uh, what is the value calculated at its parent? The value calculated at its parent is 6. How many nodes are getting closer? Uh, there is only one node that is getting closer if we change the reference point from 2 to 3. Therefore, we will subtract 1 and how many nodes are getting farther? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 nodes are getting farther. Therefore, uh, the answer becomes 6 minus 1 plus 5 that is 10 and how do we calculate this 5 value the total number of nodes minus the nodes held at this particular entry so this gives us 10 and we'll update this to 10 similarly for these two nodes because 3 4 and 5 are exactly identical they, they, they are the same geography as 3 is so I'm not reiterating it just remember this particular formula and everything will be sorted Let's talk about the time complexity now. The pre-processing that we have done here can be solved using a post-order traversal and it will take order of n complexity. Uh, the way we are calculating the total number of nodes in a particular subtree and the way we are calculating its distance from uh, each subtree uh, that takes the total complexity of order of n because we are using a post-order traversal and for finding out the actual distances uh, we are again using a pre-order reversal and the complexity is same as post-order order of n without much ado let's move on to the coding section the first variable that i have defined is an array of type integer that will store the result the second one will store the count at each index in the uh, sub in the tree and the next we have is defined a list of hash threads that will help us build uh, the input data in form of an adjacency list since it's undirected connected graph or connected tree. So let's start the iteration. I have assigned a memory to it, uh, uh, to all the three variables. And uh, using uh, these two methods, I have built my adjacency list. Once the adjacency list is built, I'll invoke the post order traversal helper method and it is responsible for calculating this count array. Also, it will update uh, the result uh, that will be used as the base for our further computations. So let's talk about this post order traversal method. Uh, I have passed in the reference to the previous node into consideration so that we don't form a cycle kind of a thing uh, while iterating uh, over the adjacency matrix and uh, this is my root and this is my previous node I iterate over all the children of the uh, given root and if my previous is equal to uh, the current element into consideration I skip it otherwise I invoke the post order traversal on its child and I update the count variable uh, to whatever count was specified at the ith index and also update my uh, result of the root with the result of the ith index plus the count and once I am done with this I simply return a count of root plus plus let's talk about the p order traversal now exactly the same thing the same formula that I talked about in the presentation uh, I am moving in a pre order fashion passed in uh, the root and the previous node so that I don't fall into a cycle kind of a thing Whenever they are same, the ith index of the, the root's children happens to be same as the previous node. I skip it. Otherwise, I use the formula that is specified in the presentation. A result of i equals to result of root minus the closer nodes plus the nodes that are going further. And then I perform, it, perform the same operation on its child nodes. Once I'm done this, I simply return the result. So let's try this up. accepted the time complexity i have already talked about is its order of n this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded we'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye